بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير خلقه محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين In this part of the dua Imam Zayn al-Abidin عليه السلام asks Allah سبحانه وتعالى to salute the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم to forgive his parents, to forgive the Muslims, the believers, and in a wider aspect, cover the whole humanity with forgiveness and pardon. He starts with saying, Allahumma jghalna bidhikrik. وَاعِذْنَا مِنْ سَخَطِكْ O Allah, make us busy with your remembrance. And that is exactly what his great-grandfather, Imam Ali alayhi salam, said in the Dua'i Kumail, which normally Mu'mineen recite that every Thursday night. وَجْعَلْ لِسَانِي بِذِكْرِكَ لَهِجَا وَقَلْبِي بِحُبِّكَ مُتَيَّمًا O oh Allah, make my tongue busy all the time with your remembrance. There are people who think that remembrance of Allah SWT is only for the mosque, only for holy places, only when we have the daily prayers. But in reality, remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is every time, everywhere, every minute, every situation. As the body needs nourishment, needs food and water, without which the body cannot survive, our souls need a nourishment. And the nourishment for our souls is only thing remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the motor cars and the engines need fuel, our heart, our soul needs a fuel. And the fuel for our hearts is remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is very nice that when I don't have anything to make me busy with, I make myself and my tongue busy with remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are people who can pray whilst they are walking. They are, as they are sitting behind their desk on the office, in the office, they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do this frequent remembrance as the nourishment of their soul and their mind. So Allah Imam Zayn al-Abdin alayhi salam says, Allahumma ishghalna bidhikrik. Make us busy with your remembrance. Wa'idna min sakhatik. Protect us against your wrath. Wa'ajirna min athabik. And immune us from your chastisement. Wa'arzuqna min mawahibik. Provide us with your bounties. وَرْزُقْنَا حَجَّ بَيْتِكَ وَزِيَارَةِ قَبْرِ نَبِيِّكَ So, O oh Allah, in addition to that, enable us to go to, for pilgrimage to your house and to the shrine of your messenger, the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم. And you are the only power and powerful in the whole world that you can give us that. Then, Allahumma ghfir li wa li walidayya warhamhuma kama rabbayani saghira. My parents, as they brought me up and I was a little, I was an infant. 
O Allah, forgive me and forgive them. وَجْزِهِمَا بِالْإِحْسَانِ إِحْسَانًا Reward them for every good thing they did. And وَبِالسَّيِّئَاتِ غُفْرَانًا And pardon them, forgive them for any shortcoming or any failure they had. اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات O oh Allah, forgive the believers, both men and women. الأحياء منهم والأموات, both the alive and the dead. وتابع بيننا وبينهم بالخيرات. Make the communication between us and them, the dead, by sending good deeds and the reflection and good deeds to be exchanged between us and them. اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا. O oh Allah, pardon the alive, pardon the dead. وَشَاهِدِنَا وَغَائِبِنَا Pardon the present and pardon the absent. ذَكَرِنَا وَأُنْثَانَا The male and the female. صَغِيرِنَا وَكَبِيرِنَا The little young ones and the elderly ones. كَذَبَ الْعَادِلُونَ بِاللَّهِ وَظَلُّوا ضَلَالًا بَعِيدًا وَخَسِرُوا خُسْرَانًا مُبِينًا those who do not have the right faith and belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are losers. O oh Allah, protect me. Uhrusni bi harasatik. Wahfadni bi hifdik. Waklatni bi kalaatik. O Allah, protect me. O oh Allah, assist me. O oh Allah, give me what you want to Cover me with your mercy. وَرْزُقْنِي حَجَّ بَيْتِكَ الْحَرَامِ And it is very important to know that most of those who are getting the ability to go for Hajj, to perform the pilgrimage to Baytullah al-Haram, to the sacred mosque of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Mecca, their provision and their ability to go for Hajj is fixed during the nights of Qadr or during the nights of Ramadan. So it is the right time to pray to Allah SWT to enable us. وَرْزُقْنِي حَجَّ بَيْتِكَ الْحَرَامِ Provide me with this Hajj. فِي عَامِي هَذَا فِي عَامِنَا هَذَا وَفِي كُلِّ عَام This year and every year. Because the person who comes to Arafat and stays there from the ninth noon until sunset, leaves that land whilst all his sins are erased and removed or are deleted. As we talked about the Toba and repentance, in the computer there is a button when you press it it deletes all the information in the computer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that if you have the precise and sincere repentance, it is like that delete on the computer which erases all the previous sins. So the person who attends Arafat, who comes out as a newborn person, warzuqna, حَجَّ بَيْتِكَ الْحَرَامِ فِي عَامِنَا هَذَا وَفِي كُلِّ عَامِ Then, وَزِيَارَةِ قَبْرِ نَبِيِّكَ وَالْأَيْمَّةِ عَلَيْهِمَ السَّلَامِ The ability to visit the shrines of the Prophet and the Imams. وَلَا تُخْلِنِي يَا رَبِّي مِنْ تِلْكَ الْمَشَاهِدِ الشَّرِيفَةِ وَالْمَوَاقِفِ الْكَرِيمَةِ O Allah, don't keep me away from those shrines those great places, the places when remind us of those great personalities who devoted the whole of their lives to, dis to disconnect themselves from the world and to concentrate on your remembrance and to connect people with what pleases you. Allahumma 
تب علي حتى لا أعصيك والله pardon me accept my repentance to the extent that I'm not going to do any sin وألهمني الخير inspire me with every goodness والعمل به and to act upon it وخشيتك بالليل والنهار and to fear you both in the daytime and the night time ما أبقيت ما أبقيتني as long as I live يا رب العالمين now we come to new chapter in this dua in this dua Imam Zayn al-Abidin alayhi salam says that look oh Allah I do my best I plan to forget about the worldly pleasure I try and plan to concentrate on what pleases you but I don't know sometimes as I become prepared to pray drowsiness laziness some sort of reluctance some sort of negative thoughts come to me so what is that is it because I am not taking these things seriously and believe me brothers and sisters Imam alayhi salam is error free. He is the most pious person. He is talking on our behalf. He is teaching us. In doing so, indeed, he is our spokesman. He wants to tell us and we learn from him the adab of servanthood, the etiquette of showing our maximum humbleness towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ilahi, inni kullama qultu qad tahayyatu wa ta'abbatu wa qumtu lissalati bayna yadayk. Whenever I try to stand for the prayer and devote my time for what pleases you, when I jaytuka and start communicating with you, make supplication, القيت علي نعاسا إذا أنا صليت. You make me lazy, drowsy, and not having the full concentration. وسلبتني مناجاتك إذا أنا ناجيت. And you disconnect me from that sort of communication. مالي كلما قلت قد صلحت سريرتي. وقرب من مجالس التوابين مجلسي عرضت لي بلية أزالت قدمي Whatever I try to walk on the right path to be, a good, to be a good person to be closer to those who are people of repentance those who decide to have a turning point in their life for Get about what they used to have in the past and open new chapter in their life. Whenever I try to do that, then something happens which draws me away from your pleasure. وحالت بيني وبين خدمتك and separates me from being a good servant to you. Sayyidi, O oh my master, لعلك عن بابك طردتني Is it that you are sacking me and telling me off? وعن خدمتك نحيتني and you don't need me you don't want me to be your servant أو لعلك رأيتني مستخفا بحقك فأقصيتني or you saw me that I'm not serious in my claims فأقصيتني you told me off أو لعلك رأيتني معرضا عنك فقليتني Is it that I'm not serious? Is it that I am always changing my position? Is it that I'm not serious about the way I decide to be a good servant to you, O oh Allah? Is it that you do not find me amongst the gatherings for 
obtaining knowledge or the way that people preach the good things or is it that I'm not communicating with people who try to purify their souls and elevate their spiritual and internal existence to reflect the shiny light of yours in their hearts? Is it that because I'm not mingling and not communicating with those people? أو لعلك رأيتني آلف مجالس البطالين فبيني وبينهم خليتني. Brothers and sisters, these are lessons for us. We waste our times when we meet our friends or relatives. We talk about everything but what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We show our friendship and the gossip and the chattering box and all these things you can find about what is in the media, what happened here and there, repeating the news, talking about every worldly affairs, but a little is spent of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So here is the time. Hear what Imam Zain al-Abideen teaches us to say, look, we are in need to devote our time to what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the time that when we gather, instead of wasting our time in worldly affairs, let's talk about a word of wisdom. Let's talk about a quote from the Quran. A hadith from the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Imams, let's talk about the admonishment, what enable us to have a better understanding about the Quran, about the hadith, about the spiritual values, about the enhancement of merits and ethical issues. Otherwise, a person is wasting valuable time in something which is worthless. Ilahi, anta awsa'u fadlan wa a'zamu hilman min an tuqayisani bi'amali. O Allah, you are greater than compensating my evil acts by what I deserve. You always forgive me and I am there always to benefit from this. وَمَا أَنَا يَا سَيِّدِي وَمَا خَطَرِي I'm not significant. I'm nothing. So if you pardon me, if you forgive me, I'm sure that it is in line with your mastership, your generosity, your mercy, your kindness, and I'm sure that you have promised us when we depend and we are sincere in our repentance that you guide us and change the ugly things into good things. Allah changes the ugly deeds acted and done by the servants into good acts, into good deeds, which show what beautiful face of that act is there. When something in origin is not good, but when meets the pleasure of Allah SWT, the mercy of Allah SWT, it turns into something very, very nice. A picture which reflects every goodness. And we are looking for that during the nights of Ramadan, during the nights of communicating with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We desperately need this sort of communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, give us that and enable us to walk on the right path. 
اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم لبيك 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 يا